Hello everyone, and welcome to our demo today. We will be taking you over the integration between the Oracle IoT Cloud Service, the Oracle JD Edwards Enterprise One application through the Oracle JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio, and finally, the Oracle Feed Service Cloud. So first up, we are on the Oracle Internet of Things Cloud Service. This is the dashboard. So let's get into the device model. Here in the device model, we are actually enlisted all the smart devices that are connected to the Oracle IoT Cloud Service. Our device that has the IoT enabled in it is the smart AC device. Let's get into its details. So as you can see in the details page, we are actually enlisted all the attributes and actions that are associated with our smart AC device. So here you can see the custom attributes that are associated with our device. The notable ones being the MPS, the coil temperature, the temperature that is giving out the temperature of the IoT device itself, and the room temperature that gives out the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere. Additionally, we have the actions that will actually let us turn our air conditioner on and off remotely from the JD Edwards Enterprise One application that we will see momentarily. So now let's see the data and explorations part. The data and explorations in the Oracle IoT Cloud Service lets us see the messages that have been fed into the IoT Cloud Service from the IoT device themselves. So next up, we will see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio. So this JD Edwards Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio has an object that has been created by us that goes by the name of EFLEX JDE IoT Orchestrator. Here we have the input parameters that will actually be taking the information from the Oracle IoT Cloud Service and sending it over to the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. So let's see the JD Edwards Enterprise One application itself. Let's enter into the application. So here we'll be inputting an equipment number against which we'll have to find a record for the work order. So let's filter it out. So this second record is actually symbolizing a work order that has been automatically created by the smart AC device onto the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. So let's see the details that are there behind this work order. So the screen on my right is actually displaying our smart AC right now, which is currently powered off. So through this screen, we'll power the air conditioner on remotely from the JD Edwards Enterprise One. You can also see that the current status of the device on the JD Edwards is also showing that the device is off. So we'll power it on by pressing this button here. And you'll see it on the screen on my right that the air conditioner will turn on. And the status on the JD Edwards Enterprise One application will also update itself and will show that the devices are on. So as you can see on my right, the air conditioner has turned on and we have done so remotely from the JD Edwards itself. Here we can also read the data from the air conditioner itself, the log being displayed here. So this is how we can have a two-way communication between JD Edwards Enterprise One and the smart devices that are connected to the IoT Cloud service. So now we'll power it off to verify if our air conditioner is being able to get itself off remotely as well. So we can even change the temperature of our air conditioner remotely from the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. As you can see on my right hand side, the screen shows that the air conditioner has just turned itself off and we have done so through JD Edwards. Let's see that the JD Edwards will update the current status of the device as being off. Alright, so as we can see now, the current status has been updated to the device being off. So the next bit of task we have is to export this information of the work order all the way to the Oracle Field Service Cloud so that that work order can then convert into an activity that can then be assigned to a field service officer. 
So upon selecting this export FS option from JD Edwards, we will export this work orders information all the way to the Oracle Team Service Cloud. So let's verify this. Let's go up to the Oracle Field Service Cloud. So this is our Oracle Field Service Cloud. And as you can see, we have our newly created activity invested here. This activity is actually symbolizing that the data from the JD Edwards Enterprise One application has been exported to the Field Service Cloud. Let's drag it and drop it onto a Field Service Officer in order to assign it to that field service officer. And now we can even verify it by clicking on this field service officer's profile and seeing the activity assigned to them. So that is it from us. Thank you very much.